Hola. Conjugating verbs ending in ER and IR. When we usually learn how to conjugate verbs that are ending in ER or IR in Spanish, we usually learn them together because they are called boot verbs. They are called boot verbs because for the first, second, and third person singular and the third person plural, they have the same ending. This is important to remember. We remember that we were creating a stem by taking out the AR in order to be able to conjugate it. It is going to be the same thing for ER verbs like correr, meaning to run. And it'll be the same thing for a verb ending in IR like escribir, meaning to write. So what we do, we kick the ER and IR out of the verb to create the stem. So let's practice. We have three ER and three IR verbs that you will create a stem out of it. Are you ready? You have 30 seconds. Let's go. four, two, done. This is your result. I hope. When you were learning how to conjugate AR verbs, what you did is you created a stem and you added AS for two, A for ella, L, and usted, amos for nosotros, ais for vosotras and vosotros, and, a, and AN for ellas, ellos, and ustedes. So these were for AR verbs. So it doesn't make sense that for ER verbs, you would add an E instead of an A. So instead of AS, you would add an ES. And instead of AIS, you would add an EIS. And don't forget, for the Joe form, you would always add an O. It's always an O or an OY. So we have to focus on the boot. Inside the boot, ER and IR are conjugated the same way, just like I said on the beginning of this video. So it would be the same exact thing for the, 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 the inside the boot. And of course, the O for Jojo form. The only difference would be for outside the boot, which is for nosotros and vosotros. Of course, we have nosotras and vosotras. So for AR verb, you would have AMOS. For ER verb, you would have an EMOS. And for IR verb, you would have I M O S. It just makes sense. Now for vosotras, it would be A I S for A R verb, E I S for E R verb, and just I S for I R verb. This is important to remember so you can be successful conjugating verbs. Now, this is what your chart looks like. Now, the Outs, outside of the boot looks just like that. Now for the Joe form, you have to remember, that's all you have to do is take out the, make the stem and create and add an O. Most of the time for the regular verbs. There you know, you have to learn your verbs. That's all it is. So let's take a quick example conjugating vender and vivir, which are an ER and an IR verb. Vender meaning to sell, vivir meaning to live. So we create the stem by taking out the ER or the IR, and then we put the same ending inside the boot. The only difference would be outside the boot. Remember, we're talking about boot verbs. Now, to conjugate an ER verb, you have to create a stem and add O, S, A, and N inside the boot, and Emos and A is outside the boot. And it's the same thing for IR. You would do the same thing inside the boot, which is O-S-A-N and Emos is for outside the boot. Conjugate your verbs correctly. For more practice, try bit.ly, stem it up. This lesson was by Senor Lopez. I hope you enjoyed it.